हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स ना हो वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द पॉलिमल मैट्रिक्स कंपोजिट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अजित पवार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक थर्मोसेटिंग रेजिन्स एंड थर्मोप्लास्टिक रेजिन्स these two resins are in the polymer matrix composite it is very useful for today's technology and world now turn to thermosetting resins thermosetting resins describe a generical family of products that includes unsaturated polyester vinyl ester epoxy and polythene resins the materials used with them are generally described a hardened curing agent peroxide initiator isocyanide nets pillars and flexibizers a thermosetting polymer is a permanent setting polymer as it gets hard and set during molding process and cannot be softened again the example are bakelite and melamine formaldehyde polymers thermosetting resins undergo chemical reaction which is called as the curing process that the cross links the polymer chain and thus connect the entire matrix together in a three dimensional network three dimensional networks are considered here once cured they can not be remelted or reformed like a thermoplastic thermoplastics is a molded also remolded but this is not for the thermosetting resins the thermosetting resins tend to have high dimensional stability high temperature resistance and good resistance to solvent because of their three dimensional cross linked structure thermosetting resins describe a generic family of products we will be discuss in here the materials used with them is generally described the harder curing like then aci notes some generic health hazard that may be encountered when handling thermosetting resins from skin irritation and explosive reactions then thermoset because of their three dimensional cross link structure tend to have a high stability are considered there are various properties of these thermosetting resins we are discuss in the introduction part which is high dimensional stability high temperature resistance and good resistance to solvent because of their three dimensional cross link structure these are the three main properties of this thermosetting resins as compared to the thermoplastics it is high stability then advantages available molded in tolerance choice of color and surface finishes high strength to weight ratio and performance outstanding dielectric strength low thermal conductivity and microwave transparency resistant to corrosion effects and water lower tooling setup cost these are the advantages of thermoset then now turn to second types which is thermoplastic resins the examples of common thermoplastic resin used today and product manufactured by them it include pet water and soda bottle polypropylene is for packing container polycarbonate for the safety glass lenses thermosetting resin describe a generic family product that includes insaturated polyester vinyl ester epoxy and polyethylene resin the material used with them are generally described as a hardener curing agent pillar and flexi flexibizer now thermosetting resins are material that of soft turn of a liquid in 
high heat and then hard again when cooled because of them these properties thermoplastic material can be molded into various types and shapes structures making a plastic resins applicable to many industries see the figure here the catch of the thermoplastic resins are examples of the thermoplastic resin are shown then properties of it first is a chemical resistance in the most circumstances elasticity means it is easily molded and remolded and again it regain its original shape electrical insulation properties fatigue resistance low density low friction toughness and transmissibility now the advantages of thermoplastic resins energy efficient processing are done with the thermoplastic broad range of beneficial properties high volume manufacturing with excellent also precision at lower cost various types can be replaced metal with a considerable weight saving advantages higher particle resistance than most metal these are the two resins we will discuss thermoplastics and thermosetting both are the useful in their various and variety of criteria now turn to differentiate or distinguish between the thermoplastics and thermoset resins thermoset resins and thermoplastics thermoplastic resins first one is a bonding with covalent bond thermoplastic resin are bonding with the covalent but in the thermoset bonding is weaker and also it is for the van de waals pose thermoplastics is a soft weak and less brittle resins but thermoset is a hard strong and brittle as compared to the thermoplastic thermoplastic resins is soluble into the some organic solvent but thermoset is insoluble in all the organic solvents relative less molecular weight of the thermoplastics and in the thermoset is obviously the relative high molecular weight in the thermoplastics can be molded and remolded but in thermoset the remolding is not possible now the thermoplastics formed by additional polymerization and thermoset is formed by the conditional condensational polymerization some examples of the thermoplastics pvc pipe we generally use then p and teflon in the thermoset which is uf pf nylon 66 in this way we will be classify these two terms thermo set and thermoplastics resins okay thank you friends